everyone. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. Our broadcast team tonight, on one side, Greg Anthony. On the other side, Steve Smith. And on the sideline, David Aldrich. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got the visiting team facing the home team. Here's Farrell, now the starting group for the visitors. Up and in Number on the way. Yeah, that's a good way to start the game. Nice inside bucket right there. Inside. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. It's another look. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. And it's in there. First quarter of play, one minute played. And he uses the glass on the way. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Here's Farrell. That's tipped. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. The drive by Thompson. And he banks Thompson. in the layup. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Farrell looking around. Misses the layup. Off target at the rim. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. For three. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. When he's feeling good, he can help you stretch the defense a lot. Thompson outside. Launches a three. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. They have really found a rhythm here early. Four for five to start this game. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. That one goes in. Five points in the game. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he number can help two. with that. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. Here's Farrell. He's covered by Thompson. The 10 footer. Basket good. The defense seized up just a little bit there, and it cost him dearly. Farrell's gone two or three from the floor. It's blocked. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. James and straight down. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Now Thompson. He's got five. To the inside. Lee Baz was put in just the right spot. From. Yeah, and there it is again. Thompson. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Oh, 
Here's Blazic. Into the lane. Blazic. That's good, and he's now three for four from the field. Passes it to Aguilar. The second chance effort. And it's good on the way in. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. Here's Farrell. Five to shoot. Here's Blazic. That one wide left. Decent look from mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Used the shot fake to create the angle, but couldn't get it to fall. Here's Farrell. And it's blocked. With the floater, and he sinks to layup. Number 32. And that ties it up. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Out to the right wing. And it comes off the front of the rim. Missed opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. Basket counts. Yes, sir. Both teams Number racking two. up the points to start this game. And you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. Here's Blazic. And the basket Blazic. for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Thompson outside. From 10 feet out. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Out to the wing. Down low. To the paint. Here's Farrell. It's tipped. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. It's Thompson off the drive. Thompson. Banked in off the glass. Thompson's got seven. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Pass to Farrell. He's covered by Thompson. To the middle. And he takes Number it in for the layup off a very nice feet. Eight Number points three. for him. The pass to Aguilar. Thompson outside. Down low. Drops in the layup for two. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Here's a chance for them to retake the lead. And they have done well to stick around these last few minutes. There's the triple. They get it again, and that one is stuffed right through. Doing his job on the glass and doing it with force. And, Greg, it's not everybody in the league who can make those kinds of plays. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second-chance opportunities. And he Two gets it back. Here's Aguilar. It's not going to go for him. We've got 155 left here in the opening quarter.
Good on the bucket. Three. There's 138 left to play in the first quarter. That's his Number second three. shot and his second basket. He's two for two. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. 116 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Thompson. It's rebounded by Farrell. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. There's 53 seconds left in the first quarter. And that one is good. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Inside. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. There's the drive. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And he's caught fire this quarter yet to miss a shot. Good D by Thompson. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. Plenty of daylight on that shoot. Yes. Ten points for him. Number 11. 19 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Farrell. He's covered by Thompson. Here's Farrell. Two on the clock. He can't get it to go. Some great action here early as we end the first quarter. Clark in a tie. And we'll be back right after this. Some good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after the first quarter of play. Some guys, what's your take on the home team so far? I love their effort. Contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. And you can see it's already having an impact. It can cause shooters to think twice. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. Here's Poland. Right side Dragic. Pass to Poland. From deep. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Not too much respect shown to him by the defenders. Thompson passes to Clarkson. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. Fade away. And Thompson sends it back. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. And the layup Thompson. falls. Thompson's got nine. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. Here's Poland. To the paint. It's in, and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. And he just big boyed it right there. The height advantage he's got down low, really difficult for them to defend. Clarkson against Dragic. Clarkson outside. Passes to Aguilar. 
A shot goes in, first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Jordan, nice job. Those passes have to be right on the money around the painted area. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Uses both hands to slam it down. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of it. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Pass to Poland. Four on the clock. Kicks to Dragic. Can't hit from the elbow. Clarkson outside. Knocks down the step back Jay. Clarkson's got his first points of the game. How about that move? You'll see very few players able to pull off. Just sensational stuff. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. You too. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. The pass to Poland. Shot clock at six. Over Thompson. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position, you can see the frustration on his face. Now, any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor. Got to the rim and made a play. Here's Poland. Back to Dragic. Shoots. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Power down after the assist. Let him into the lane. And don't look now, but they're starting to extend this lead. They're doing it by building it out step by step, valuing each possession. Shot to stop the run. Buries the long range jumper. Three points. He's got five. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot the D can afford to give him. Clarkson bounce pass. Aguilar. He's guarded by Dragic. Aguilar passes to Clarkson. They grab their own miss. And that one is hammered home. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg, that is definitely an emphasis jam. A big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Here's Poland. And it ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Team ball. Substitution for your home team. The visitors with the ball. They trail by six. Two on the clock. No good from Trogic. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Fades away and sinks the tough shot. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Here's Poland. 
and they'll get another chance. Clarkson for three. That shot misses. Clarkson's gone one of four so far. It doesn't go for him. Here's Ramos. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Here's Pullen. The jump hook. That does not fall. Still looking for his first basket after three shots. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused and they've executed. Now here's Dragic. No points in the game yet for him. And that one, good. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Passes it to Aguilar. Oh, he's going up for the alley-oop here. Yeah, and they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Here's Pullen. Driving inside. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. He's covered by Clarkson. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Pullen's got five points now in the quarter. And, and I love the fact that he didn't have to slow down or adjust there. The pass was just timed perfectly. Ramos the pass to Clarkson. Tries again. He takes it up and lays it in. He has six. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. To the inside, here's Trogic. Misses from short range. Trogic has gone one of four from the field. Two minutes first half, two minutes. Clarkson up top. Takes the three. A shot missing. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. That one misses. Steps back and drains the jump shot. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. 124 left in the first half of the game. Here's Pullen. He's good with the little jumper in close. Pullen's got seven points. 111 left in the second quarter. Pass to Aguilar. Clarkson against Dragic. The drive by Clarkson. That one's good. Maybe that'll get him going after a two for six start. 55 seconds left in the first half. Back to Dragic. Pass to Pullen. Just five to shoot. And there's the pass to Dragic. They get it back. He's off on that one. 
he can't get anything to fall this quarter. And obviously, that's dragging the whole team down. Yep, it counts. Six points for him. Oh, he's heating Number up here 15. now in the second quarter. Watch out. 20 seconds left in the first half. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Pullen. Seven points in the game. Unloads from 13. No good that time. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. And that concludes the first half. They lead by 14. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. Taking a look at this home squad. Kenny, give us your take. They score very effectively. With the exception of ball movement and play calling, they were able to exploit multiple weaknesses in the defense. They've got to feel good about themselves. And that... And with the big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. And here's Thompson. Just three to shoot. Fires the three. The shot off that time. Here's Farrell. He's covered by Thompson. Farrell gets the bucket. Farrell's got six. I thought for sure the defense was going to send that one back. But he somehow got that one up over the D and in. Thompson outside. Beats the shot clock, but can't get it to fall. Here's Blasich. Quick shot there, and it's off target. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. And he drives in. Two points. Number that two. one goes. 12 points for him. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. And that takes skill and the ability to make adjustments as you're going up. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. And that one drops. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Back to Thompson. The three. Missile blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. He's not looking at the score. He's staying focused, and he's staying active. There's two things they rely on him for, being competitive and bringing energy. At the line for one. Here's Farrell. He has six to the middle and it is flushed down with a nice jam 
Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be curious to see the response. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Got a hand on it. Over to the wing. Unloads. No good with the wing jumper. Stolen. Here's Thompson. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. It's a winning approach when you execute. That's the key. They're playing fast, but also under control. And how's that for a move? The killer crossover. It's a thing of beauty. Going inside. Comes up empty down low. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. Passes it to Farrell. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Thompson comes with the double team. And he converts Number the layup. 31. He's got eight. He is really shouldering the load on the offensive end and doing an outstanding job. But he needs the rest of his team to step up. From outside the arc, good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. And he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of looks. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness, one team short here. Here's Farrell. He's covered by Thompson. No good on the three. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Oh, that's blocked. And that goes out of bounds. And they retain possession. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. And the lineup for your home team, number 15. Lock at six. Sinks that one from the post. Number 32. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. The layup off target. Well, you have to understand what your strengths are. Just not a good finish at the rim on that play. Pass to Perez. Thompson outside. The pass to Perez. Swiped away. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. We have seen today's athletes taking stands for social justice. All-star Bradley Beal says we understand there will be a backlash, but we don't care about that. I'm a human being, a citizen, just like everybody else. I have family and friends still living in those environments, and I'm their voice. Kevin? All right, David. Thank you very much. Blazic, he's covered by Thompson. Here's Blasic. With that miss, he's now made six and missed six from the field. Here's the teardrop. 
And he lays it in. 21 points in the game. And is it any wonder they're ahead in this game? His perfect night from the field has been the catalyst. Here's Farrell. 11 points in the game. Wozic. He's covered by Thompson. No dice from the high post. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And he's going up for the alley-oop. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to, to execute their offense. They've taken nothing for granted. You can see their plan the moment rather than the score. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even. Pass to Farrell. Gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. This is the consistency he was looking for in the first half. Just took him a while to heat up. Pass to Thompson. Driving in. Off with the layup. Here's Farrell. He's covered by Thompson. Farrell can't hit. Now here's Thompson. 16 points for him. Shoots. Can't nail the jump. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Blazic. And he's good on the three ball. Three. 16 points for him. It's enough to where you have to respect him. Had one triple in the first half. Now has his second. Two minutes remaining. Pass to Thompson. Two minutes. For the three. Trains the three-pointer. Thompson's got eight points here in this quarter. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Here's Blasich. 8 for 15 with that made basket, but he's not satisfied yet. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. Thompson surveying the floor. One twenty-seven left to play here in the third. Just five on the clock. The wing jumper off target. There's the pass to Farrell. One oh four left in the third quarter of the game. Count the basket. 20 points for him. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Here's Perez. Here's Thompson. And he battles Thompson. for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Thompson's got 21. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. To the left side wing. Here's Farrell. He's covered by Thompson. In the corner, Farrell. Over Thompson. No good there off the double clutch. Missed opportunity. It's a makeable shot for him. He just can't get it to go. Thompson. 
Thompson's got 12 now in this quarter. Just Mr. Reliable again here today, Kevin. I mean, they need his points, and he's producing. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Leading by 17. And time for the short break, and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Creating plays for others, it's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Pass to Pullen. Fires from deep. And that one is off. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Not just selling for something along the perimeter. Excellent job. That shot off the mark. To the left wing. Shoots off the step back. And it's good off the back rim and in. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Passes it to Aguilar. Second chance shot. Pulling with the rebound. Empty possession, and you don't want to miss these easy looks. Plays it up and makes it in. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. Such a wide open look. And he is cold blooded. Drops the dagger. Piles on to what was already a big lead. I mean, defensively, if you have any hope of coming back in this game, you can't afford to give him those looks. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. Six on the shot clock to the paint. The layup missed. Down low. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. to Aguilar. Goes back up. Nice spin off the left rim and in. And yeah, he's not messing around. He wants no part of a comeback in this one. Reason why momentum can flip so quickly. We see it time and time again. Teams giving up big leads. Here's Pullen. No good with the triple. Pullen's gotten just four of his ten shots to fall here, shooting 40%. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And the pass to Aguilar. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Unselfish, moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. 
they've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. He does not look happy. Their defensive rebounding has, has been putrid, and they're giving up a ton of second-chance points. Both teams are deciding to change it up. On defense, the home team. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. Here's Pullen. Yep, that one goes. He's got 22. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. Passes it to Aguilar. No good with the layup. Pass break. Here we go. Here's Poland. The three-pointer, no good. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. Out to the right wing. Six to shoot. No good on the shot. And there's the drive, and it's blocked. Floats one up, and he lays it up and in. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Pass to Aguilar. Contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Defensive foul, Paul. Respectful move there. That, that was not an easy one to convert, especially given the height disadvantage. I love the way he created space for his shot. For the home team, number two, one shot. Here's Farrell. Trying to take advantage of soft defense, he might have gotten over eager. Side uses the glass to finish the layup. He's got 19. And loving the strategy. Even though you're well ahead, you want to stay in attack mode. You want to stay aggressive right at the rim, driving another nail into the coffin. Takes a three. The shot will not fall. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. Now the pass to Aguilar. 
Thompson outside. Six on the shot clock. From 12 feet out. Second shot opportunity. And he hits the jump shot. Facing and ball movement. We hear coaches talk about those two elements all the time. Here's Farrell. He's covered by Thompson. They need this. And it's off the back rim. No good. To the middle. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Excellent timing on that play and a wonderful pass. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's much more aggressive. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. And his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball you, you need a little bit of luck a bunch of hard work and a whole lot of talent he sure has given this crowd a treat tonight this kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite two minutes remaining to the inside the layup off target. Guys, they've been getting it done at both ends during this run. Yeah, it, really tough to say where they've been better. Drives to the hoop. Makes it good. off the glass. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they've maintained their focus. Here's Farrell. One thirty-seven left in the fourth quarter of this one. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Personal foul. First team foul. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. At the line for the away team. Number three. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. So both teams changing it up here. Good on both. They are enjoying the commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. He takes it in. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. He's got 25. 115 left in the game. Off target at the rim. Fades away. Does not score for only the second time in seven shots this game. To the paint. And he takes the beat in stride and slams it home. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. 
43 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. Way to attack there and then create the contact. At the line for your home team, number one. Taking two shots. Two shots. And the first one drops. And so he makes both from the line. So it's the visitors now. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Takes it inside. And he makes that one. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.